So one of the areas of great interest in the contact lens field now is the use of large diameter, what we call scleral contact lenses. These are contact lenses that are fabricated out of highly gas permeable but firm or rigid materials. These lenses fit very differently than other rigid lenses that people are familiar with. Traditional rigid lenses are what we call corneal rigid lenses. They rest on a tear layer above the central cornea. And as such, sometimes adaptation due to comfort issues is difficult for people. People always tell you, oh, my hard lenses or rigid lenses just are not comfortable. And that's why a lot of people have switched and move over to soft contact lenses. However, rigid lenses always have an advantage in optics for the majority of people. The quality of vision out of rigid lenses typically is much, much better. However, comfort has been a limiting factor. With the development of large diameter scleral lenses, we now fit the lens such that it vaults over the entire cornea, never touches the cornea. There's a tear layer between the lens and the cornea, and the lens in essence lands on the white of the eye, the sclera, similar to a soft lens in that regard. Now the nerve endings on the sclera are much, much less sensitive than nerve endings on the cornea, and so these lenses are exceedingly comfortable. And they still provide the vision of a rigid lens. In addition, they, because of their diameter and how they're fit, tend to center very well over the optics of the eye and are very stable, so they don't move all over the place. So you get consistent vision. So we get comfort, consistent vision, and the sharpness of a rigid lens. So what kinds of patients are um, potential uh, candidates for these scleral lenses? Number one and the largest group for our practice are patients with highly irregular shirt surfaces to the cornea. That can be due to various corneal diseases, injury trauma, post-surgical eyes, those sorts of things. So they must have a rigid lens for correction of vision, but corneal rigid lenses often have trouble centering on those eyes because of the highly irregular surface. Well, now we're able to vault over that irregular surface of the cornea and get a lens to center well and be stable and still provide excellent vision, along with very, very good comfort. Second group would be patients who have exceedingly dry eyes, very, very dry eye patients, because what we're doing with scleral lenses, we're creating a reservoir of tears underneath the contact lens. And we use it very often in patients who have had severe dry eye and secondary corneal complications due to their severe dry eye. The area that I think we're gonna see greater and greater growth in the area of scleral lenses is actually fitting them on normal eyes, because they still can correct vision, like regular lenses can, they're comfortable, and it's just a matter of basically doctors as well as patients becoming more acclimated to dealing with uh, scleral lenses. The greatest challenge with scleral lenses beyond the doctor's fitting expertise, because it's a whole new way to fit lenses, and very, very few doctors in the United States or worldwide have any level of experience and expertise in fitting scleral lenses, but beyond that challenge is just simply the challenge for the patients to realize that they have this big contact lens. Mm -hmm. They can range anywhere from 15 to 18 millimeters or more in diameter, so they're relatively large. And learning the technique of putting the large lens on the eye is a little bit more challenging, but at our practice, our technicians are virtual experts at teaching this, and we have taught patients who I never would have imagined be able to uh, achieve success in insertion and removal of lenses, uh, and they have with uh, the help of our technicians. What causes dry eyes? Well, many things can cause dry eyes, many things. Uh, dry eyes can be induced by medications, can be induced by certain uh, hormonal changes like menopause in women, can be induced by injuries or surgery to the eye where nerve endings are severed and the feedback loop to produce tears is interfered with. Um, and there are just hosts and hosts of reasons why dry eye can, can form.